I'm sorry, bro. I think I would rather watch this Rich and Mary video. I'm so serious. No offense. Oh my God! I will. Yo, I ain't even gonna say what I'll do. Yo, bro, Ted, tell me you won't sleeve that nigga, bro. Tell me you won't punch that nigga, bro. Yo. Well, well, well. Rich and Miri, what's on your minds right now? Shit, just dropped the album. I'm, I'm hype. I'm feeling good. I'm excited for the future. What was the last thing that bothered you? I got my fucking my McDonald's order wrong. Like, I ordered a fucking Big Mac meal. I got a fucking Happy Meal. Tell you, bro, real niggas eat McDonald's, bro. Y'all niggas still eat Chick-fil-A every day trying to be so cool, bro. Piss me off. Got the little toy and everything. Bro, voice nice. No gay shit. Hot? Bro, what? Can I, can I see it? Yes. How do you have this picture? Uh, um... We gonna have to have a Yo. after the show, but um, yeah, that's Lil Me, that's that's Lil. No, that nigga line it was crazy. Lil Mary, Mary Chase. I gotta be like three, four, five, maybe. What was your childhood like? I don't remember <laughs> much of it. I feel like all my childhood memories went away, but um, it was fun, you know. Then did a lot of family things, beach trips, Disney World. How how old were you in this picture? How do you have that picture? Eat that yogurt slowly for us, dude. Don't ask why. Moving on to the next picture. Bro, no. what? <laughs> Fucking got a rack on me, literally. Um, I think that was Dom's, bro. I think he yeah. got that from Spencer's. The fucking... I don't know where he found this, but... It's a throwback. God damn. You're holding the titties pretty tightly. I never really had stuffed animals that like, brought me peace and shit, but like this was really like... Feel like a kid again. Do, do titties bring you peace? <laughs> <laughs> Why he look like that when he said yeah? I shot my shot at Sexy Red. I just decided like, shoot or shoot. I said, hey Sexy Red, I drew this picture of us. I hope you like it. Are y'all niggas shooting y'all shot at Sexy Red? I think that's kind of crazy, all right? All right. Yeah. What was your reaction like when she responded to you? I was like aesthetic. I think I did like <laughs> laps around my room. Nah. I was with a girl at this time and she was like, why are you so, why are you, why are you so heavy about that? So the girl you were with was not happy that Sexy Red responded to you? Um, she was mad about some. Have you and Sexy Red spoken ever since that tweet? <sighs> Unfortunately not. Well, I can see what I can do to make that happen. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. These are fair <laughs> prices, I ain't gonna lie. Since I dropped the album and everything, the price is definitely boosted. It's probably 500 it's crazy, for sneak this now. Probably like a thousand. I'm not doing no Instagram live. Y'all remember him and Isaiah TG got them beef over Fortnite? I'm gonna try, I'll scratch that off. Oh no, they just be wanting free smoke, but it's like, I'm a busy man, you feel me? I got mouths to feed, I got shit to do, so. This is a joke, y'all. Like, I'm not actually testing for beef. Unless you come money ready then. You know, then we get so. Do you do paid beefs with interviewers? Yeah, man. Um, shit, with you, I ain't gonna lie. The money's right, the money's right. No matter who you are. Cool. I got it. Maybe we can make a beef happen really the soon. The dumbest shit ever, bro. I hope not, and I, I fuck with you. That nigga TG is funny, man. Moving on to the next picture. <laughs> to me what you wrote. First one, from first grade to third grade, I went to a school that only had 13 kids total. And it was my hometown, Boston. It was like, I don't even know. If it... So he's not from Atlanta, he's from Boston for real? Call it a school. What was the second one you put? I have heart problems at the young age of 19. 
I'll be like laid up with a girl and she'll be like, why is it hard for you so fast? Are you nervous? <laughs> that'd be cool. It's just. Honestly, you got to refresh the stream. Got to mind like a, Is there like a particular like diagnosis or? No, no. not diagnosed myself. What was the third fact you wrote? I've only been in two relationships in my whole life. Hey, light the stream up, y'all. How are those relationships treating you? Write down three things you are proud of about yourself. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? I don't really know, honestly. I think it's just a video of Richard Mary being interviewed by a therapist. Um, go ahead and read to me what you wrote. I inspired my family to try new things. Like my mama just opened a business, <laughs> you know, and yeah, she been working all her life. And I feel like she seen what I was doing and how I was able to like take life into my own hands. And I inspired her like do her own shit. She sells products related to health and like fitness and stuff like that. You know, it's crazy. My mom do the same shit, bro. That's great. Proud of your mom. Oh cool. God, uh, thank you. Uh, well, what's number two? I'm a very dedicated person, and I feel like I've... <laughs> he said, that ain't no therapy. Nigga got pink hair, bro. Accomplish anything. Like, I've truly set my mind to. Not just, like, you know, bro, side Tess, goes and things out, like that, but anything that I really wanted to do, like, I feel like I've done 100% of it. I feel like a lot of people have this misconception that when you're so, like, you know, you're so, like, into one thing, it's hard to, like, what find happiness. But, like, when that's really what you want to do, I feel like that's not an issue. So, I don't know. I feel like all my goals my entire life, since like a little kid, have been related to music in some way, shape, or form, and I've accomplished those. What's the last one, number three? I'm 6'4". You're proud that you're 6'4". Of course. Yeah, man. That. Feel me? You're I can right, reach stuff in high cabinets. Um, the ladies love it, I gotta I'm say. Good, um, How about you, man? Comes with a lot of benefits. Richard Mary, so doo -doo. No, For the next segment, back, we are going to be doing a drawing segment. Good, I want you to draw any picture you want, whatever is the first thing that comes to mind that you want to draw. Just draw it out. You have a set of markers sure. and paper. Just turn the stream on. Yep. Appreciate it, man. What was you doing before this? You're all finished? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Um, if you could do me a favor and hold up the picture. Um, this is me, and then this is my sis, baby mamas. And then this one is mad. You can oh see in her God, face. Oh my God, so corny, man, honestly, dude. This one copied her hair. So this crazy, one, bro. I don't know why she not smiling, but you feel me? Most of them are pretty happy, you feel me? Man, this is my future, you feel me? This um. I don't know about that, Crowba. Crowba. Think about it. Rich and Mary got some good ass songs with the blonde hair though. Let's be real though, nigga. You feel me, gang? I feel like this is what God. Cheese ball ass shit. Yeah, this man. Ain't gonna lie. Cheese ball. To have six baby mamas. In the next segment, Rich and Mary will be relieving a stress by boxing. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, man. Now punch my face. I can't do that to you, bro. This nigga's not serious, bro. There's no way, Deep breath bro. in. Out. Deep breath in. Out. I'm gonna need you to describe what you're seeing around you. Like, this is your happiest form. I'm in the backyard. I got like a, a beach next to my house. Six four for nothing. You feel me, gang? I'm gonna do that I'm shit. With my son just, just watching away, just watching away, just watching away. Just Keeping watching it real. Away. I'm being real, nigga. I hear the seagulls. That's why I'm some real shit. I'm gonna get me one of those. You know what I'm saying, gang? Air. I'm so serious. Air. Smell the oh, God. I'm so serious. Air. 
<laughs> Niggas ain't finna test me, bro. I ain't finna get no offense to annoying, but I'm not finna get annoying TV. It's not happening to me, bro. I'm not finna keep getting robbed four times in a row when I, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's not funny though, bro. On some real shit, like I actually feel bad for annoying, and I'm a huge fan of bro. It's not funny. It's actually not. Yeah, yeah E Pistol, yeah, GTA. Okay, so for the next segment, we're gonna go back into writing, mm -hmm. and I want you to write a letter to yourself. E Rage. Let's start it with Dear Rich Amiri. Okay. okay. We're gonna talk about it after this watch, bro. Uh, do me a favor and read it to me. Dear Rich Amiri, I'm so proud of you, man. I know how hard it's been, but through all tribulations, you prevailed. I truly admire your dedication, your ability to remain consistent, and your unwavering positive attitude. I know you've been working so hard, but a job is never done. Remember, though, you signed up for this. Keep going. You got people depending on you. Love, Amir. Mm, okay, that's real. No, I mean, you could, yeah, you could, you could punch it. All right, that's enough. All right. 